Even though we're getting into dry season, flooding can be a concern at any time. And now is as good as time as any to prepare. Joining us now to talk story about ways to help yourself manage possible flooding is Matt Gonser, the executive director of the city and county of Honolulu's Office of Climate Change, Sustainability and Resilience. Aloha and good morning, Matt. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Aloha. Good morning, Sam. Thanks for having us. So how can we be better prepared for dealing with flooding? Preparedness can mean many different kinds of things. There could be information, physical things that you do, but also financial preparations. And that's what we wanted to do to get a better understanding about what the community's awareness was around these different issues. Yeah, when you look at that, you folks conducted a survey on Oahu to see how folks uh, do deal with flooding and how they've experienced the flood. Can you tell us a little bit more about the results of that survey? Right. Um, perhaps not surprisingly, a lot of people either had first or secondhand experience, meaning they themselves were impacted by a flood or they knew a friend or family or a loved one or a neighbor who had been impacted by a flood. And that was one of the major things we were hoping to better understand. People's experience with flood, their awareness around flood risk, potentially their experience with flood insurance, but also where they can get more information to take action and be prepared. Yeah, it's always good stuff. Uh, can you give us some specific details on that? Right, so I mentioned around information, physical things, and then financial. On information, where do you get your awareness, whether it's the news station or the city's h and info app? What's your plan for your household? How do you exercise and communicate that plan? On the physical side, um, what are you doing around your household to direct water where you want it to go, which is not in towards your home, whether it's cleaning storm drains outside your property, downspouts and gutters to direct flow away, or when it's going to potentially be really impactful, how do you get your, your physical belongings and your assets and the things that you love a little higher up in case rain comes in and you're not able to keep it out? But also on the financial side, insurance can be a difficult thing, but homeowner's insurance, hurricane insurance, those are different. And if you're really looking to mitigate that financial and fiscal risk from flooding, Flood insurance is a different, separate kind of coverage that's required. Yeah, it can be very important. And like you talked about, I need to get gutters on my home. I've been putting that off for about two years. Now is a good a time as any to, to get that preparation made. And as far as on the city level, what is the city working on as far as flood preparations go? Right, we're talking about preparations at all different kinds of scales. Household scale, community scale, but also island-wide scale. The city continues to look at some big projects and big watersheds that are known trouble areas, whether it's in town with the Alawai watershed, now looking at Wailupe in East Honolulu, but also an ongoing investigation of the Wailele stream, which flows through Laie town and the flooding impacts they've had. We know that we're going to need bigger resources to support some of these big projects, and we want to bring that while we're empowering people with the information about what they can do at their own homes. That well said as far as empowering people. It's on us as well to get our properties ready, get everything ready in case of flood because it can't happen at a moment's notice. Matt Gonser with the city's Office of Climate Change, Sustainability and Resilience. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you, Sam. Aloha. Aloha.